Hi everyone, my name is Alexis Rigsby and I am a student here at Eastern Washington University and today I will be teaching you guys about moon craters. First off, let's talk about what questions we are going to get answered throughout this video. We are going to learn about what craters are and how they are made, the different types of craters, and if the moon has more or less craters than the earth and if so why. Craters are circular features you see on the moon. They are the results of asteroids, comets, or meteoroids colliding with the moon's surface. These objects collide with the moon at a variety of speeds, but the average speed is 20 kilometers per second. I will define each part of a crater in a clockwise direction, starting with the wall. Crater walls are the interior sides of a crater rim. Most times, these walls are relatively steep. Next. Rays are the obvious bright streaks of material you can see extending from the crater. They are generally narrow. A central uplift is only seen in complex craters. It can be defined as the higher area in the center of larger complex craters. This happens when the object impacting the moon is large. The raised rim is the edge of the crater typically elevated above the moon's surface. The maximum elevation of the rim is the rim crust. The ejecta is material excavated from a crater cavity during impact. Most ejecta will form a layer of debris surrounding the crater cavity. And lastly, the floor of the crater can be defined as the bottom of the crater, either bowl-shaped or flat, depending on the type of crater. Craters can be divided into two separate groups depending on several factors. The size, mass, speed, and angle of the falling object determines the type of crater. Small, slow objects have a low energy impact and cause small, simple craters. These craters have a bowl-like shape with smooth walls and a diameter of less than 15 kilometers. On the other hand, large, fast objects release a lot of energy and form large impact craters. These craters have well-defined rims, a central peak, and a diameter between 20 and 175 kilometers. The surface of the moon is covered with millions of impact craters. The moon has much more craters than the Earth for three main reasons. First off, there is no atmosphere on the moon to help protect it from objects impacting its surface. On the other hand, most objects from space burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, making it even more unlikely for objects to come in contact with the Earth. The second reason is that there is no erosion such as wind or water, and lastly, there is little geologic activity to wear away these craters, so these craters on the moon stay unchanged for up to billions of years. Alright, so now that we have learned so much about craters, let's have some fun and create some ourselves. If you would like to complete this experiment at home, you will need a few simple items that are listed below. Once you have all the materials, you will need to set up the experiment as shown. You will need to set your pan down, and then you will need to cover it with flour, which will act as a subsurface, also known as regula. Then you will put cocoa powder on top, which acts as the top surface of the moon. And then you will put sprinkles on top of that to act as the ejecta or the material diversity. When I did this experiment at home, I chose two different heights to drop my rocks from. Those heights were 18 centimeters and 36 centimeters. Now that you have everything set up and know how to do the experiment, let's watch how my experiment went. Okay, that was a lot of information in very little time, so let's review what we now know. Craters are caused by asteroids, comets, and meteoroids colliding with the moon's surface. There are two different types of craters, which are simple impact craters and complex craters. And the moon does have more craters than the Earth, because the moon has no atmosphere, erosion, or geologic activity. I hope you enjoyed the video and even learned something new about science. 